Being joined by the head coach of the Terriers in his ninth season, Tom Giovato. Another win, 11 straight wins here at this facility. Let's first talk about the game. The it seems it seemed like you really controlled the pace of play, especially in the second half, and then overtime was just a back and forth kind of battle. You played these guys to a scoreless draw last year. What was the key in finally uh, breaking through uh, with that pressure? Yeah, I mean they're a good team, very good team. Uh, made it very hard for us to play, play our game. Um, they just did a really good job, and I mean, the reality is we got we got a lucky break, got a handball in the box, and that's how we got our goal. And Cyril step is stepping up there, big spot. You know, just just three minutes left before you know another scoreless draw, and and he gets it done. It seems like ev no matter who has been stepping up, it's been somebody every single time. You've had 13 different goal scorers this year. A lot of balance in that. Uh, talk just talk about how how good that is to have that kind of balance with with all of your goals being scored by different players yeah no it's great it's a you know a total team effort and everybody everybody's looking to step up and it's coming from all over the place which is which is nice we're not relying on one person it's it's a total team effort one of the other reasons it's a total team effort is is defensively you've given up one goal this year i'm sure you've been had to talk about it a few times but Jack Banks being Jack Banks, and then everybody else in front of him. You lose two guys off the field like Andy Cormack and Ricardo Milano, who've been who are seniors last year, and yet you've come out this year defensively, and you've been probably better than you've been in your in the last few years. Uh, what's been the key for for that sort of balance uh, defensively? Yeah, I mean it's tough, especially when you lose two two big time players like those two guys. Um, Jack, Jack's the leader back there. He's uh, organizes. He does a great job organizing, and you know it's good to have Cyril, Paulie still there, and you know Collins and Leo are playing great. They, you know, they bought into the system, and you know we're just doing a total, total team effort there and doing a great job. How have those new guys come along? Because you meant you mentioned the loss of those of those two, at the, especially at the back end. But it seems like otherwise you have a lot of returning guys, and then you can kind of just like f filter in those those new players uh, like Kirshner off the bench today. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, we have we have a, a good group of returning guys, and the new guys are just following their lead. You know, they listen to the older guys, they're sticking to our game plan, and they really bought in, and you know that's what's working for us. Well, hopefully it keeps working. You're unbeaten now in nine matches this season. Uh, con con congratulations on the win t today in overtime, and and continued luck this season. Thank you very much. The head coach of the Terriers, Tom Giovato, will take a break, and we'll be back after this on the Terrier Sports Network, powered by NEC Front Row. <laughs>